What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Will Burn the Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dee. Hey back guys. with another great reaction a video. If you're new to this channel, you are over here now, so that means you want to be a part of it. Because so subscribe right to it. Subscribe to it down below. Uh, we are heading into Ralph Barbosa. We went into him before where he did like he was just flowing off the dome, like his comedy. Who? Ralph Barbosa. Remember he was flowing. He's asking the audience. Like, oh, oh, I like know. him. Yeah, 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 he got beef with George Lopez right now. George so Lopez I've called heard. him out. You know what I'm saying? He got beef. But I like this title because it got something to do with us, California. So Texas. Why should be horrible? <laughs> Texas or Texas versus California is what this is called. He been out this back Cali. Don't put no. We've better. never been to Texas. Where we want to go? All right. This is tight, man. I'm actually uh, I'm visiting. This is this is the first time I really got to hang out in Cali. And oh, he in Cali. I love it. The weed is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys did to weed uh, what white people did to hip hop. <laughs> you gentrified it and you got rich off of it. And I love it. Oh I'm, my <laughs> God. I'm really liking it. Weed is so like legit here. Like it's like officially legit. Like I bought it and the package even had a warning label on it. <laughs> it says use with extreme caution. I was like, dude, I'm from a state where people still go to jail for weed. Trust me, I've been using what's extreme caution. <laughs> I came here to not use caution. <laughs> it's cool, man. I, I really, I'm really enjoying it. My buddy was telling me though, he's like, yeah, a lot of people still don't buy from dispensaries. They'd rather go to a dealer because dispensaries tax so much. So there's actually been an increase in drug dealers' profits. Oh, you know, God. which proves like the only thing us Americans hate more than drug dealers is paying taxes. <laughs> At least we know where the dollar's going, right? <laughs> Mexico. Nah. Really? But it's cool, man. Texas has not legalized weed. Uh, we've been asking them to, and they just gave us more guns. We legalized <laughs> open carry. We were like, we just want to carry weed. They're like, how about carry a bazooka? <laughs> I was like, I don't want to. It's like, no license needed. I was like, That's a, we don't need a license. We just you know, can't. That's so funny now that I think about I've it. I never thought of that. They legalized that, but I can't smoke no weed. I can't. I could carry a gun, but I can't carry no weed. <laughs> It's so funny that like our light bulbs clicked at the same time. Oh, that is true though. That is true. I've been to Texas, but that's that, horrible. That's stuff. They can't smoke no weed. Yeah, you let them smoke weed over there. Let them, uh -huh. let them Texans smoke a little herb. Guns out in the open. <laughs> but I, I like California style better. You guys were like, let's make it easier for people to smoke weed. And Texas was like, <laughs> nah. Let's make it easier for people to smoke other people. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, a while back, I had two friends go to prison for selling drugs. And uh, don't worry, the story gets better. <laughs> Not for them, they're in prison, but for me, I got material out of it. I like it. When drug dealers call you from prison, they always ask the same question. They're always like, who would have thought I'd go from driving to Benz to sleeping in a cell? Everybody. <laughs> That's why we asked you to stop. <laughs> they asked me not to talk about this stuff on stage, but the way I see it, for the next five to seven, I can say what I want. <laughs> yes, I'm capitalizing off his face. I'm not capitalizing. Well, oh you know what I got that joke? He was buying from them. He talking about, we told you to stop. No, you was buying from them. Don't act like I mean, he still told them, though. <laughs> When they were dealing like small time drugs, like weed and stuff, okay, we didn't they, they really up. care. But when they started moving to heavier things, we sat down, one of our friends, and we had like a real serious talk. Like, hey man, don't go down this route. Cause uh, nobody wants to see you get, you know, locked up or, or killed. And then he started taking us out to eat to really nice restaurants. <laughs> Keep doing it. And we were all just like, Heroin's not that bad. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> no, but they went that route, which was crazy. One of my buddies, uh, I think the only one left, I guess, he straight, he stayed on the straight and narrow. He, uh, he has a job at Target, and he <laughs> loves his job at Target so much that sometimes I wish he would have just gotten involved with drugs instead. <laughs> He doesn't like when I leave things laying around the store. 
Like he'll find a shirt and he'll bring it to me like of his friend died in it or something. He's like, hey man, did you do this? I'm like, yeah. He's like, no man, I don't think you get it. You see, people like you who leave stuff laying around the store Make my job harder. are the reason that people like me have to spend hours restocking all these items. I said, hey man, I don't think you get it. I think people like me are the reason people like you have a job. <laughs> You're welcome. You work for me now. <laughs> what the He's fuck? He's a dude spin on stuff. Yes. I'm no longer returning stuff. See, I'm not personal. I'll be like, oh, I feel bad because I, I look at a shirt and I'll put it back how it was. Yeah, I fold it back. Now, I'm about to start. To give him something to do. Yeah, they gotta have their job. Because if everything looks perfect, they don't they have nothing to do. Exactly. I, I, I always fold it, make sure. And then if I'm passing by, like sometimes I kind of like. Now I'm about to start taking baby formula to the electronic aisle, electronic stuff over to the clothing aisle. Well, I right. gotta keep them on their toes Stop. and keep my job. I gotta keep them in Stop. business. Stuff is going out of business because of people like me. Stop. I gotta keep them in business. <laughs> But I'm very close with my friends, especially because uh, I was an only child. I was an only child for a while until I found out that I have half siblings, which uh, that got me excited. Finding out you have half siblings out there is like finding out that they made sequels to your favorite movie. <laughs> you know, when you first hear about these sequels, you want to see these never before seen sequels. What? But then you meet the sequels <laughs> and you're like, Sequels. They should have just stopped after that last one. <laughs> that is so true. Honestly, the first one is the best. Like, <laughs> but I was, I, I was an only child for a long time, which I feel made me into a social weirdo. Like, I don't really like going out. My friends will force me to go out to like bars and parties. And on the way to a party, they always say the same thing. They always be like, you excited? Come on, get excited. <laughs> never once has it worked on me. Like, <laughs> never once have I been like, all right, here I go. <laughs> I don't like when they say that. Come on, get excited. That's like handing somebody a drink and being like, come on, drink it. Like, dude, the more you force this, the less I want to party with you. <laughs> But I will, I'll go to parties, but I'm trying so hard to like be social, but I think people know I'm forcing it. I feel like I'm an undercover cop at parties. <laughs> so I just walk around talking to myself. <laughs> be like, play it cool, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> they think you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody will walk up and be like, hey, you know where the restroom's at? And I'll be like, I don't. I didn't want to be here. <laughs> Walk to my car like, you blew it, you blew it. <laughs> I'm not very, uh, not very big on the whole social media thing either. I, like, people don't do strange things on there often, but sometimes they get a little too social and I'm like, I'm out. Like, I, I, I pull the plug on Instagram. And it'll be normal stuff. It'll just get a little too weird to me. Like this guy messaged me, he was like, hey man, I saw you posted a picture eating pizza and I wanted to ask you, where'd you get that pizza at? <laughs> and I didn't say anything right away, so he sent a follow-up message. <laughs> he was That's like, hey up. man, Why he didn't answer him? I hope you're not planning on ignoring me. <laughs> I was like, I wasn't, but now that you said the creepiest message ever, <laughs> I'm deleting my Instagram. <laughs> Sometimes people just get straight weird. Like one guy sent me a message on Instagram and I never opened it. So then he sent me the exact same message again on Facebook. Oh That's like if you hit on a girl, she rejected you, and then you went home and changed your shirt and hit on her again. Yes, I do that. You're just I weird do that. in two different colors. Get me personal. I see a lot of girls post their cash app on Instagram. Uh -oh. Yeah, they won't even post naked. They'll just post their cash app like, hey, in case anybody wants to send money, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's just this one girl that I didn't like. She posted her cash app and then under it, it said, don't be one of those lame guys who only sends like $4. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can't tell nobody nothing under $4. What you think Girl, Do you know if 100, 100 people sent you a dollar, you I get $100? That. I see that all the time, though. I see, like, like just, people post their cash apps all the time, like, oh, send me something if you're feeling generous. 
you know, you know what? I'm gonna go back to that. Y'all always talk about feeling. Y'all be talking about offering the church, talking about giving the church, but you want me to put dollars in your cash app just to feel generous. But you want to talk about offering that church? You're doing the same thing the church doing. God said, be kind. Just trying to get some dollars. God said, be kind. I didn't even know her, but that made me so mad. I sent her a message. I was like, hey, I'm gonna need my four dollars back. <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends made eight hundred dollars in one day through Instagram. Yeah, she doesn't post naked or anything. So I, like, I'm do? proud of her for making that money, but I don't know why I'm proud exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she says one guy sends her four hundred bucks anytime she has an hour to kill just to talk to him about his troubles. Which I I like, good that? for her. That's like most people have to spend six, eight years in college to become licensed therapists. <laughs> She skipped it. Her her license is like a Damn. cute selfie and her cash tag under it. That's her oh, therapy that's, license. I'll do that. That's the equivalent of like going straight to the NBA right out of high school. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he skips school. That's why, like, don't get me wrong. I definitely do believe men, women equals. I just don't think we're equal all the time. <laughs> like, if you, like, if I had to bet money on a dunking contest, well, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my money on men. Like, but okay. if I had to bet money on like a post your cash app and see who sends you the most money contest. <laughs> Man, no, I'm already Every... giving the women my last four dollars. <laughs> hey, I'm Ralph Barbosa. Thank you guys so much. I like you. Bro. I like it. Does he have like? Does he do this a lot? I would love to go to one of his shows. Like, he definitely come up now. I want to go to one of yeah. I want to go to one of his shows. Like, I'm I'm gonna look him up. We're gonna have to go. We have to he travel. laid back. Like, he's just, we're going. <laughs> I like his delivery. He is hilarious. I love him, and he's just so like if so whatever. Yeah. Like it's weird, <laughs> but he is hilarious. I love him. He has new fans. Regard I, like yeah, he funny as hell. He funny as hell. I don't know. I think. I don't know you how deep. You paid me $400 to listen to your podcast. I don't know how deep the George Lopez beef. I'll even give beef, you all, uh, advice. I didn't look into the George Lopez beef that much, but obviously he making enough noise to get somebody attention. Like, y'all mad because he coming up probably and about to take y'all throne. That's what it is. When you're making that type but, of noise, you get that type of attention. Mm. But I mess with Ralph. Ralph got I mess with him. He's he the next, he is up. I like him. He the next gen. Give him his credit. Exactly. He next up. Throw his flowers. I see you, Ralph. This is funny, though. Good one. Thank y'all for tuning in back with this taking, you know, 12 minutes and counting in 45 seconds out of y'all day. You know, if you want to go to my cash shop <laughs> and, 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 you know, send me a dollar, okay. I'll accept your $4. Man. I like four for four. Hey, Wendy's. my cash app is on my channel in the thing below. I'll take a dollar. But anyways, thank y'all for tuning in. Dollars this is always. Your problems. We'll see you guys in our next one.